now talked about the planets in our solar system and stars and galaxies. Now, there's so much more than just those things in the solar system. So for this video, we are going to be talking about the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt. Now, what is the asteroid belt, you may be wondering, and where is the asteroid belt? The asteroid belt is a region of space populated by millions of asteroids located between the inner and outer planets. Primarily, it's located between Mars and Jupiter. And there is one dwarf planet that we know of that is also located in the asteroid belt, and that is Ceres. Did you know Ceres is a dwarf planet and a really big asteroid? Everything in the asteroid belt revolves around the sun, and asteroids come in different sizes and shapes. Some of them are as big as a couple miles, others are over a hundred miles long. How did the asteroid belt come to be? A long time ago, in the early stages of the solar system, rock and dust circling the sun were joined into planets. Not all the elements turned into planets. A specific area between Mars and Jupiter created the asteroid belt. And believe it or not, the asteroids in the asteroid belt are actually really, really far from each other. Some say over hundreds of miles from each other. Even though it looks like a lot of asteroids are really close to each other, that is not the case for the asteroid belt. And unfortunately, there is no life that can be supported on asteroids. They have no atmosphere, no water, nothing like that. Asteroids are just big rocks that are a part of space. Now we're going to move further out from the solar system and actually past Neptune's orbit, which that would be the Kuiper belt. And as you may have guessed, Pluto is also in the Kuiper belt. There are other space debris in the Kuiper belt. However, not only is Pluto the prominent dwarf planet that we know of is in the Kuiper belt, but we can also think of Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. There are, of course, other objects that we can see that are not asteroids or not debris from space, and those have been recently discovered. So why is the Kuiper belt there? Well, just like the asteroid belt, after the solar system was created, there was a lot of space debris that got pushed out of the solar system's orbit and then created the Kuiper belt. So I know one of the questions you have is why Pluto is not considered the ninth planet in the solar system and why it's considered a dwarf planet. Well, there are a few things that make a planet a planet. And the main components of what makes a planet a planet is that a planet has to be mostly spherical. It doesn't have to be perfectly spherical, but mostly spherical in shape. It has to be able to clear objects within its orbit. So let's say moons and different asteroids that can be surrounded by the planet. And it does have to be a certain size. Now, 2005, there were scientists that discovered that there was planets that were bigger than Pluto. One of them being Eris. Eris is actually just a little bit bigger than Pluto. In fact, Eris is just a little bit bigger that it has its own moon, and that is Dysomnia. So I know for a lot of us, as much as we really, really want Pluto to be the ninth planet in the solar system, there are bigger dwarf planets than Pluto out in the Kuiper Belt. Did you know that the Kuiper Belt also has a lot of comets? That's what makes the difference between the Kuiper Belt and the Asteroid Belt, is that the Kuiper Belt has the comets. Meanwhile, the Asteroid Belt just has all the asteroids. Thank you so much for tuning in into my Solar System series. And if you have any further suggestions 
for upcoming lesson videos that you would like me to do, please share those in the comments. I would love to take your suggestions into consideration for future video lessons. And if you have any questions about space, please leave those in the comments as well. I would love to answer those questions with you and get to talk with you and interact with you. So thank you so much for tuning in and please make sure to check out my other videos that I have to offer on my channel as well.